What's up, everybody? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another Rev Time. Uh, today, I want to focus on... Oh, you can't really see it in the shot. That's all right, because I have an inset camera. Uh, I wanted to focus on playing a couple of the Rev pedals through uh, a Fender uh, Princeton, like a really simple... They're great little amps. I actually borrowed this from a pal of mine, and uh, this isn't an original. Uh, it's I think it's a reissue. Uh, but it sounds really good. Um, now, full disclosure, I don't have a mic on this thing uh, because uh, having just moved in here, I'm not sure if the neighbors are going to get miffed at me doing live loud cabinets. And quite honestly, I just don't want to find out today. Maybe a different day, but I don't want to find out today. Okay, so here's the question. What pedal was I using? Uh, or... I should say, what pedal am I using? If you guess it right, uh, you'll, you won't win anything. I'll tell you, I'm using the G4 right now. Um, now, uh, this is not uh, a demo. I mean, I've demoed these pedals on my channel. I've certainly uh, done more demo style things uh, on uh, the Rev channel. Um, this is more just to, you know, get you guys hip to how I would dial something like a little Princeton uh, to basically be a pedal platform amp. Now, you are hearing a reverb off of uh, the amp. As a matter of fact, I need to turn this down a little bit. There's a little bit of delay happening uh, in Pro Tools. It's the, the delay I always use is just kind of a like a slapback thing. The reverb you're hearing is actually from the spring reverb on the amp. And the reason I'm running it that way is, is, is honestly, that's how I would run the amp, uh, you know, as a pedal platform amp. So if I shut the G4 off, this is where we're starting. It'll break up a little bit, but not a ton. Um, I could... You know, dial it so it broke up a little bit more. It just depends on what I'm doing. I'm treating it more, even though I don't have delays running to the front end of the amp, I'm treating it more as if I did. Now, I had mentioned there's no mics on it, so obviously I'm using an IR. Um, and I'm actually using my uh, my aux, my universal aux. And it's the, uh, the 4x12 uh, thick cabinet. Uh, an equivalent to that on, say, a Captor X would probably be... I, well, yeah, then anything really with a set of like uh, Selly Greenbacks in it, or even honestly, uh, Selly Vintage 30s would be fine too. It'd be pretty close. But you, you are hearing um, uh, the, the 4x12 IR. But as far as the amp goes, I mean, that's, that's so Fender. So essentially what I'm doing here is I'm using the G3 and the G4. My G4 uh, is really what I'm treating as my crunch tone or my rhythm tone. I turn it up a little bit. too much low end. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little clearer. So that's how I like to, you know, use it, especially to the front end of more of a Fender uh, style amp. Because it's it still breathes really well. Play soft. I don't have to roll out the volume. I can. 
But if I just play soft. It, it's pretty dynamic, it's pretty wide, and you can see uh, how I've got it set up. No aggression mode, it's in the off position. Uh, to me, that's more kind of the Marshall, you know, maybe JCM-ish thing. Dig it. Uh, not a ton of bass, you saw me just roll that off. Mids are straight up, I've got the treble rolled off a bit, but not much. And then if I wanna take a solo, now you can obviously do your rhythm tones with the G3. I'm more comfortable using the G3 uh, for my solo bars. Okay, now I have this dialed in the blue aggression mode. I'll go ahead and I'll shut that off. Check it out. That sounds great. There's a little more bark there, but I want a little bit more saturation without turning up the gain. And the blue aggression mode is getting that for me. So now I can go from my crunch. Well, it's, you know, I can go from my clean. Um, to my crunch tone. To my solo tone. That could be louder. I just wanted to give you an idea. I mean, I, I can dial this so this is a little bit brighter maybe. There's things I can do, but just to give you kind of my perspective on what if it was just a little Princeton reverb or uh, uh, like maybe a Blackface Deluxe or something along those lines. So basically G4 is my rhythm, kind of JCM-ish thing. G3 is a little bit more kind of modern sounding, a little more uh, saturated the way I have it dialed but into a totally Fender amp. Using the reverb on board and you know, the whole, the whole uh, nine yards. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys uh, use, especially if you're, if you're cranking into you know, Fender amps. Do you dial them super clean? Do you have them break up a bit? Like I said, I, I dial them a little bit cleaner if I think I'm gonna be running some things to the front end that are not just overdrive or compression. Uh, so delays and verbs don't get out of control, but if I'm if I'm not, then I'll run them I'll run them hotter. It's like my clean tone is never clean. It's always got a little bit of little bit of breakup on it. Okay, cool. I hope you're all doing well, and uh, we will see you next time.